Hi everyone, welcome. Happy July 4th. This is uh, Girlfriends Just Want to Have Fun. And Guy Friends too. And I'm Melissa. I'm Steve. And we are on a little vacation, a little quickie vacation to Enid, Oklahoma to spend the weekend with Steve's daughter, Jessica, and her husband, Justin. So um, I thought this would be the perfect time to talk about what you might want to take on your trip that would make it easy, quick Mary Kay, um, and would uh, definitely help you with some things. And then I'm going to tell you, and Steve's going to talk about it too, our adventure we had yesterday um, at the Salt Flats. And I've got some cool things to show you guys, so, um, and a story. Yes, it's about crystals, digging crystals, which we did. It was really cool, you guys. So... Hello, Karen. I see Karen just jumped on. So, okay. So one of the first things I'm going to start about, talk about, and uh, Steve can attest to this, when you're traveling, no, it doesn't matter where you're going, but when you're traveling, always remember to bring, what's this do? Sunscreen. Sunscreen. And Mary Kay has some of the top sunscreens out there. Uh, this one we have is SPF 50. Oh, there we go. I'm still learning where the thing is. There you go. <laughs> SPF 50, and um, it is approved by the American Cancer Society and the American Sun, well, it's not society, but it's a, it's approved. It's got the seal of approval. Okay, so that's the first thing I would talk about. The next thing I would recommend, oh, I always bring a headband, is I love when I'm staying with friends or family to bring them something fun to pamper them with. Um, so what I like to bring is a couple things and I'll bring all three of them. In fact, I hope we get to do this tonight. So the first thing that I love to bring is the biocellular mask here. I'm going to let you hold it. You're going to be, you can be my Vanna, be my Vanna. Okay. So that, that comes in a pack of four and, uh, like my daughter, this is one of her favorite products. And so definitely check out this. See, they come in their own little foil packets, easy to transport. Um, and that's what today's all about, is I'm talking about ease of transport, how to move things with you without having too much, right? Because you don't want to pack tons and tons. Okay, so this is something you can do, just enjoy. Um, Steve has done this. And uh, hey, I brought four. Maybe we'll have to all four do it. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, the second pampering thing I love to bring is the charcoal mask. And when you get this right now, you get this really cool washcloth. So I brought this so that we, you know, you don't want to goop up your friends or family's washcloths. So we've got that. So that's another thing. The next thing I would bring for pampering That is Revealing Radiance Facial Peel. Yay! Looks like that. And so I used that today because we've been out in the sun and I just wanted to kind of um, soothe my skin. But you could also pamp your friends with that or your family. The next one is our Hydrating Gel Eye Patches, which you like. Mm -hmm. And I loved them. I you used them just, today. You were just using them. I was just using them. Uh, and what's really cool about this is that um, this is easy to bring. And everybody loves using them. And I tell you what, they, if you have tired eyes, don't worry about it. Use this and your eyes won't be tired anymore. So that's a fun pampering. And for the consultants out there, you may not know this, but there's a great big contest going on with Mary Kate Corporate for bagging, bragging rights um, that the most more of these that we sell, then we can be in that contest and get bragging rights for being the best. So I don't know. I think there's prizes too. This is new. Karen so. says Love that. Yay! Okay, so I also absolutely love our um, toning. <clears throat> our targeted action toning lotion. Yes. I might just use some of that right now. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> you might have to open it. And it locks, so it won't spill everywhere, which is awesome. Okay, stuff you want to bring with you. Oil-free makeup remover. We do have them in little travel sizes. You want to bring your mascara. This is the new one. Awesome. Vanarama. 
That's what I have today on. That's it. Your lip balm. The one that makes your lips changes colors when you use them. This is the pink one. The pink one? Do they have other colors? Or? We have a berry one too. Now this is a limited edition. So your consultant may or may not have it. Whether she jumped on and got it. And then you'll want to bring... All you have to do is bring one of these. This is the one for green eyes. So it just has your color in it. See how light, little? There you go. Um, I also love these to bring on a trip. Because when I bring these, that's really all I have to have on. You could, you don't have to have anything else but these for your eyes. Oh, it's probably good to tell you what these are. These are our liquid eyeliner or um, eyeshadows. And they come in four different colors. These are my two favorite. So these are the two I always bring with me. So a light one and a dark one. So I can't read them, but what are the colors? <clears throat> They're good on everybody. Um, it's on the end. Ah. <laughs> Pink starlight. And purple nova. Purple nova. Okay, you want to bring a foundation. Or your CC cream, which has sunscreen in it. So this is our 3D foundation. You'll want to bring your soothing eye gel because if you're tired, put it on, you're ready to go. And then finally, before we get to the skincare, we're kind of doing it backwards. You want to bring your blush. And you know what's really cool is you can put your blush in there. Now this one on mine has the um, bronzer, highlighter, and the blush because I like I have my colors in one and my Based on that. And that's pretty much all you need for the makeup part. I mean, that's not that much. So, this is the other cool thing. Many of you just don't know we have this, so we're going to talk about it. So, we're going to start with Clear Proof. This is our travel size. This is enough for about a week. It comes with all these products that are in the picture. So this is awesome. This is a travel size clear proof. This one is really, 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 really good if you have acne prone skin, adult or teen. Luckily you and I, we're good. We don't have that. But this is wonderful and it's got the four different products, the cleanser, the toner, acne treatment gel, and the oil-free moisturizer. So yeah, I should just hand it to him. What do you guys think? Say yeah, say yeah. Okay. So then the next products, and I'll open one of these up. These are the TimeWise 3D skincare. There's about a week in there. So if you're going for a weekend, these are perfect. Opens up really cool. It's kind of weird not being in our studio. Okay, so there's combination to oily. There's normal to dry. Comes with a cleanser a night cream, a day cream, and your eye cream. And they're perfect because you know you, a little bit of this goes a long, long way. You just need just a teeny tiny bit and you're good to go. Okay? I'm going to hand those to you. So, you know, if you're going for the weekend, if you're going for a week, you can bring the bring the travel size. Don't, don't bring full size. You don't need it. If you're going somewhere for a couple weeks, bring two sets of those because you're going to want to be able, especially if you do a lot of people do carry on today, you don't want to have to worry about losing your luggage and losing your skincare. Take that, you don't have any issues. Although I think a lot of our full size products, except for the cleanser, um, is under the three and a half ounces. So it's either three and a half or three or three point. And then last but not least, my favorite, the repair set. Okay. So what's in the repair set? I can get it open. The repair set, and I'll just hand them to you, baby, has a foaming cleanser, okay? Has the night cream with SPF 30, so you can be out in the sun. Has a day cream. He has It has the amazing lifting serum, and it has the night, or the eye cream. 
everything you need. Has everything you need. And that's the one that has retinol in it. So if you're 50 and above, I recommend that one. Yeah. And then the only other thing that um, I would recommend, because my feet get sore, you can either bring the, um, the Mint Bliss foot gel, or you could bring the extra weight night cream. Oh, good stuff. Yeah. I use that on my feet all the time, especially when we're running around on the sand and stuff. So, so those are just, um, I thought today would be a really good day to talk about traveling. And so I hope you guys learned something new about traveling and what you need to bring yeah. to make life simple. So, so do you want to hear about our adventure? Okay. Here's our adventure. So we decided to go to the salt flats. Um, I remember the name of the park. I think it was salt flat park. I don't know. We could pull that. Anyway, it was um, about an hour away, and we um, obviously drove there. <laughs> and, and we went out on the, obviously it's the salt flat by the lake, mm -hmm. and it's like white as far as we can see. Yeah, it looks like snow, but it's not. It's salt. We went out there, picked a good spot, brought our chairs mm -hmm. and uh, our cooler. It was really hot. Yeah, lots of water. And our hats. Yeah. And we started digging. We started digging. Because you can find crystals of selenite. Is that what it is? Selenite, yeah. Selenite out there, which is uh, crystallized gypsum. Yeah. And this is the only place in the world you can find these crystals in the whole world. I'll, I'll post pictures on the page when we're done. But the first ones are called, you can hold it and show everybody. The first ones, um, and these are our favorites. So this, the first shape is called a blade. But what's inside of it, if you look, is there's an hourglass. And I'm going to tell you a little bit of story about the hourglass, too. So these are two blades that we found. Aren't those cool? These are my favorite. That's very cool. And then, so, they, yeah, they've got, see the hourglass and the shape. If you turn, you see they're thin. Yeah, and they're super thin. That's why they're called a blade. And they're sharp, kind of. Yeah, they've got points. So while you're digging kind of feel the points and you're like oh, oh that's a big point okay so you're digging around so um yeah my was really playing in the dirt yesterday this one is um, a twin it's got a because it's got two of them growing together let's <laughs> <laughs> see how it has the hourglass inside this one is so I love this one. Okay, wait, I'm going the wrong way. Isn't that cool? See how it's joined in the middle? Okay. And then the next ones we found, they come in lots of different ways. But these here, I'm going to let you show them that one. Are clusters. Are called clusters. It looks kind of similar in texture to it called desert rose which is also gypsum. Yeah. but like some of the clusters have do you see the hourglass in it so they actually have the hourglass selenite it was it was awesome how long were we out there oh maybe three hours is that cool or what and it's open to the public it's free it's in the middle of oklahoma um I had no idea. I had no idea that anything like that existed. So yeah, a we had a lot of fun. Um, and he was awesome. He kept us hydrated. And we uh, were protected because we were using our sunscreen. sunscreen. I could have gotten really burned out there because we were in the middle of salt, reflective salt. So it was really, really cool. So, okay. So I've got a little thing. There's, yeah, there's a great story that comes along with the, uh, yeah. the selenite. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to pull it up. So it was formed by the repeated flooding of seawater millions of years ago. And it is con the concentrated saline solution combining with the gypsum that promotes the selenite crystal growth in the portion of the salt flax. Selenite is a crystallized form of gypsum. Chemically, it is hydrous, hydrous yeah. calcium sulfate. And the crystals are still actively, actively growing in the salt plains which is why you're allowed to go dig for them. They have certain sections. It's also a natural preserve uh, where there's 20 different species, actually of um, 
like ocean birds that migrate and it's their migration path and they stay there too. So it's protected. So there's only certain sections you can dig in. Um, so that's really cool. And it's cool that they're always growing more crystals because mm -hmm. they're in the they, water. They form a lot faster than other yeah. geologic processes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's about 1,100, 11,000 square feet, right? So square acres, square acres. Not just acres. and then um, I'm going to pull this up. You're going to talk about what the, the significance of these yes. hourglasses? Yes. And, uh, well, tell me this part right there. Um, the Oklahoma, that one? Yeah. The Oklahoma saline crystals take on the characteristics of their environment. Iron oxide in the soil gives the hourglass crystals their chocolate brown color. On the salt plains, sand and clay particles often form an hourglass shape inside the crystal. Yeah. Nowhere else in the world is this unique hourglass at the same time as now. Yeah, there's there's nowhere else in the world that you can see these or find these just here in the salt flats in Oklahoma. I mean, that to me is just like amazing. So, okay, so the Oklahoma owl, uh, hour, hourglass sell it. So, no, no, this is a good message. This is, okay, this is the story. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, okay. So here's the story um, about the crystals, okay? So I think this is really cool. Oklahoma hour, hour I can even talk today. Vacation, right? Oklahoma hourglass selenite. Uh, it reminds us of two truths, that our time in this form is limited. Like sands through the hourglass, so are the days of our lives measured. The other, that who we really are, is unmeasurable, limitless, and ever-present within the now. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. That's really the same thing. So, um, so we're doing a really close one, or a really fast one. And so, um, you know, if you don't get to watch it, jump on later. And we can, uh, we'll continue to do it. Um, it'll be up. So, okay. You should give one of these away like, at the end of the month. Oh, that's a really good idea. Yeah. yeah. You know what? For everybody who listens and watch watches, um, we'll do a drawing for one of these. They're really cool, you for guys. Just, for just this one particular episode? No, for the for, whole month. For the whole month. For the whole month. And you guys, I'm really sorry, but we're going to have to wait till we get home to do the drawing because guess what? I didn't put that all together before we left because we were running around trying to pack everything, but that's okay. So, okay. Um, this is your challenge. You know how we're doing weekly challenges and, and weekly like homework. And I've got to say, Karen and um, Noel, way to go. You guys are doing it every week. And when you've done it, I want you to post below the live done. All right. Okay. So. Here's your challenge for this week. Uh, sometimes to increase our confidence, all we need to do is to remind ourselves of the things that we are good at. So many times we beat ourselves up over what we aren't good enough at, rather than reminding us what we are good at. So here's the challenge to help increase your confidence and remind you of everything that you bring in the world. So what you need to do is I need to sit down and I need you to think, what are the five things that you are good at? And write that down. And you can even put it in the comments. And after you put it in the comments, put, you know, also put done. So like it's not a great act. I think everybody could benefit from that. So, well, I hope everybody is having a wonderful 4th of July. I hope everybody is uh, being safe and social distancing if you can and if, you know just doing everything you need to be safe during these crazy times but i know steve and i are really really loving uh coming from whatever space we are uh vacation home uh in the in the basement in our in our uh studio to share with you girlfriends just want to have fun and to share with you just some of the fun stuff that we bring with us. So, and Steve brought all his men's products. I did, yes. He's using his skincare. So, but I'm going to put this on and uh, tonight probably again, because we're going to stay up late before we go home tomorrow. And it's a 10 hour drive either way. So definitely 
ask your consultant about these hydrogel patches. Amazing. And uh, that's all that we have for day for today. And I hope you guys have a great day. Happy Fourth of July, everybody. Happy Fourth of July. Be safe. Don't play with fireworks. That's all we've got. All right. Anything else? Do you have anything to add? Uh, no. No. Thank you for being on with me. Of course. Yeah. Every time. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> we'll talk to you soon. Bye. Bye.